Peace be to you. This is Omar Abdul Malik, physician assistant and health educator. Uh, I wanted to talk to you guys about uh, building up your study endurance. So I'm training for my 19th marathon, 18th and 19th. Um, and my son's training for his first. Um, we're right now trying to build build up our our uh, kind of endurance as a base and then we're going to do speed work and uh, things like that but um i i found in school one of the reasons why i didn't do well is that i didn't i hadn't established a good base a good base for a long study sessions and, and i think most people don't you know most people after 20 minutes start looking around they get very easily distracted but you know one thing i would tell students for those of you guys that are going to go to college and try to get into something as rigorous as a pa school or med school or whatever you're going to do you have to have the ability to sit for long periods of time and study and certainly you know i did some videos about um standardized exams you have to be able to sit for long periods of times for these standardized exams they're several hours whew, they're several hours long not several hours the MCATs are several hours seven minutes 45 seven hours 45 minutes uh, GREs are long the pants position assistant national certification exam is long the SATs are long <laughs> uh, ACU placer tests are long you know, all of these require that you be able to sit and stay focused for extended periods of time so if you're not able to do that yet you really have to to um, start trying to condition yourself to do that one of the things that I did is I would get a timer and I would say okay how long can I sit and study before I become distracted I'm thinking about you know some movie I saw or uh, you know something that happened during my day and I really had to I found that it wasn't you know I, I did not really have um, longevity when it came to um, studying for long periods so I had to build up upon that uh, and it, it took a while <laughs> too long actually but you know slowly but surely five minutes became 10 minutes 10 minutes became 15 um, then 20 and 30 then after a while it took me you know several weeks actually I'm sorry to say it's going to be different for everybody but it took me several weeks before I was able to really sit for long periods of time and study I mean I could really study for for you know three straight hours and not everybody can do that I'm out of practice so I'm I'm studying biochemistry now just for fun because uh, I want to understand it better but I'm I lost that edge just being out of school I finished my last degree uh, several years ago I did my doctorate in health education so I had to sit for two and three hours just typing papers <laughs> you know trying to work on my dissertation um, and then you know I'll be studying for my um, board recertification again in a couple of years uh, we try to do that try to really challenge yourself to um, see how long you can just sit and truly focus because I'll hear I'll hear students talk about oh yeah I studied three hours for that exam they say, well did you really study for three hours or was that three hours really spent staring off into space you know or chatting with somebody or texting or just you know being on YouTube or Instagram there's so many distractions that we have now so try to increase the quality and quantity of your study sessions and only you know what your what your weaknesses are <laughs> mine was eating too much and then I would fall asleep and then I'd get caffeine you know and then that's of course a diuretic so I'm getting up every 10 minutes to go to the back <laughs> then a friend comes into the library and talks to me uh, you can't do that most people can't do that and really be you know successful it's a, not a good study habit 
to establish. But uh, I hope you heed that advice. Um, if you have an interest in medicine or uh, getting into um, an allied health career or just living a positive lifestyle, please uh, subscribe to my channel. I'll put other ways you can reach me in the description. Um, I'm a physician assistant. I've been doing that for about 20 years now. I'm also a health educator, erstwhile college professor, and uh, been running marathons for a good 20 years now. So, let's see you all on uh, the uh, other internet venues. God willing, inshallah. Peace.